Hi everyone, welcome back. It's Adriana here for Couture Creations and today I'm going to create my page in my art journal. It's called Be Happy. I'm using the page from my art journal. It's a slightly smaller than an A4 page and it's a watercolour paper and I'm creating a surface that will be excellent to be using my alcohol inks. As you know, you can't use alcohol inks directly onto watercolour cardstock. So I'm creating a barrier and I'm placing some literature sh uh, sheets and some music sheets from a vintage book and I'm gluing it down with a quick dry adhesive glue. You can use matte medium gel, but I find this is quite great glue. It dries very quickly and then once that's completely dry, I'm going to to cover it with a coat of gesso. So you still see a little bit of the text and the music sheet coming through, but applying a, a, sheet, a, a surface over it with some gel medium or white gesso, you're creating a surface that's great for creating with alcohol inks. So once that's completely dry, I'm going to be using my alcohol inks to create a beautiful background for my art journal page. I'm using a couple of colours from the Couture Creations alcohol inks. I'm using metallic colours, champagne, bronze and ice blue and I'm also using fluoro blue and fluoro yellow to give it a bit of contrast and highlights. So I'm just applying the colours. Because there's a coat of gesso in there, it floats like it's um, a Yupo paper or synthetic paper and just creating a background with these colours adding um, isopropyl alcohol or alcohol blending solution using my puffer to puff the colors around and my brush to create some sort of textures and splashes over my page. I'm now going to use my fill applicator tool because I find the fill applicator tool also helps with giving texture to my page and I find that adding a little bit of color onto the felt and also a little bit of um, isopro alcohol or alcohol solution blends the colors beautifully. You can see the beautiful texture and the beautiful shine from the metallic alcohol ink colours and the textures created by the felt applicator tool. Next I'm going to be stamping with my stays in place alcohol ink colour matte colour of the permanent stays in place ink pad and just stamping randomly around my page with the stamp from Seaside Girl and Me. It's like a netting, seaweed netting from the collection. I'm now going to get my stencil and with a baby wipe, I'm just going to wipe a few of that colour off with the page just to give a bit of a washed, bubbled effect. It gives a create texture and that's the best thing about alcohol inks with the baby wipe. You can actually wipe a bit of colour off of the project. Now I'm going to be stamping with my watercolour paper, it's 300 GSM, some flowers and leaves from the You Go Girl collection. I'm using this flower and this leaf. I have listed all the products that I've used in this video in the description below. Please visit that and also on the blog we have all the details of all the products that I've used. Using my stays in place alcohol ink, 
pad I'm going to stamp on my paper these flowers and leaves and I'm going to colour them in. I'm using from the block set, the medium size block set, there's five in each uh, can set and I'm using the medium size one that's a really perfect size for stamping these images on my paper. So as you can see I've already stamped the flowers and I've got the leaves and now I'm ready to colour them in. You can use alcohol markers but I've chosen to use colour water pencils and with my colour water brush I'm going to colour in my flowers and my leaves. Please ensure that also that you clean your stamp every time you use it with the stamp cleaner also from Couture Creations. So I'll fast forward this because I don't think you need to see me colour in the flowers. Using watercolour pencils and the watercolour brush you get a beautiful coloured flower and leaves that I'm now going to cut out with the dies that come with the set. So these flowers and leaves have a die that cuts out the actual image and I'm using my die cutting machine, I'm using the Go Power and Boss machine to cut out all my images for my journal page. So here are my pieces that I've coloured in and cut out with my dye. I've also got some coral leaves branches from the Seaside Girl collection that I've cut out as well. Before I place them on my page I'm going to use a stencil and some black paint and I'm just going to create a bit of depth because I found that with the leaves they just got lost with this background. I love my background and I think it suits beautifully with the bright colours of these flowers so I'm just creating a little bit of a background with a stencil and black paint. So now I'm going to glue down all my flowers and my leaves. I'm using the quick dry adhesive glue. This is a fantastic glue. It dries clear and it's you can still move things around before it actually sets and I find that's a really good adhesive. I also attached a chipboard that says be happy. I just added black ink onto that and with that chipboard it came with like a little beautiful bee. I put that on my page as well. Well thanks for joining me today, I hope you like my page and I hope you learnt some techniques on using with alcohol inks and stays in place ink pads and also the new collection from You Go Girl from collection from Couture Creations. If you liked my video please give a, a great like, write some comments in the comment section below if you have any questions. I'd like to thank you for joining me. If you want to see more inspiration, please visit couturecreations.com.au and visit my blog, which I have the link and the all the materials list in the link below. Thanks for joining me today. I hope to see you soon. Bye for now.